Kurt Flood outfielder on the St. Louis Cardinals going in five. Kurt Flood, you came up to the major leagues in 1958. You played in 59, you played in 60, but you didn't really arrive until 1961. Now, what happened along the way? Well, um, more than anything else, Cliff, I, I really got a chance to play last year, for one thing. Uh, I got a chance to settle down and, and um, learn a little, a little bit about playing in the major leagues, about the pitchers, uh, about playing the hitters, things like that. Well, you certainly knew enough uh, about how to play the outfield because, um, first of all, you were brought up to the major leagues, and that's an indication of talent. Secondly, you remained in the major leagues, so of course you had talent and know-how. Uh, why was it in 1958 you didn't play as many games, or 59 or 60, as you did in 61? Uh, were you developing along the way? You weren't ready, or were there other factors? Well, uh, you answered your question. Uh... I was just a young fellow coming out of the minor leagues. Uh, at the time, I was with the Reds. Well, actually, it was 57. And uh, the outfield was more or less set. And uh, they, they were feeling the best ball team that they had. And uh, they, there were several people ahead of me. I was playing in and out, uh, the latter part of the ball game generally, where uh, defense was more important than anything else. Uh, Shortly thereafter, though, I, I got a chance to start regularly. I think it was 1960, uh, and I was able to start quite a few more ball games. Of course, last year was a great year for you. It, it wasn't only that you hit 322, but you played in 131 games, and you proved, if nothing else, that you can play an awful lot of outfield. Uh, you were there with Sam Musial on one side and Joe Cunningham on the other side, and you played a pretty big center field. Uh, how far back was it that you wanted to play uh, pro baseball? Well, I guess it goes back to my uh, early childhood. I've always played baseball of some sort in uh, grammar school, uh, the American Legion, semi-pro, right on up through the ranks uh, into high school and uh, uh, finally into the pros. And when you were younger, did you uh, actually have a dream that someday, uh, did you hope that strongly, that someday you would play in the major leagues? Well, I guess every kid does. Uh, mine was no more intense than, than any else, I guess. No, all kids don't. I would say most kids want to play baseball and have dreams of Frank Merriwell, but uh, there's sort of a difference in the in intensity of a dream. And I was wondering just how, how much you, how hard you were pulling for baseball as a career. Was there anything else that you ever wanted to do? Well, no, not really. I, I, I really never thought about playing ball uh, professionally until I got into high school when uh, the scouts started to, uh, to come around and, and uh, to talk to me. And it was then that I realized the potential uh, of being a ball player, not necessarily a major league ball player. You realize that uh, you can make a real good salary in the minor leagues. Of course, this is the, the top of the profession, and everybody wants to be on the top of their field. And, and, uh, I guess uh, after I found that I had the chance to, to play in the major leagues, then my desire became a little more intense. I worked a little harder maybe, I don't know. Well, here you were being graduated from high school and you had an opportunity to play pro ball. Uh, did you give any thought to going to college or was your ambition completely directed towards professional baseball? Well, <laughs> I, I uh, didn't really have any intentions of um, of going any further in school than I than I did. For one thing, uh, my family couldn't afford it, and uh, I didn't have the uh, chance for scholarships or anything like that. So I really was concentrating on more of uh, uh, of a commercial career uh, in art or something similar. I, um, however, had a chance to to go on and play pro ball right out of high school and. And I sort of jumped at the chance because I needed the, uh, I needed the dough. Uh, you said art. Do you draw, or did you draw, or paint, or anything like that? Well, I, I did quite a bit of it in high school. I, what, what kind of art work did you do? Commercial art, lettering, and poster design, illustrations, and things like that. Oh, for the school publications? Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, what kind of drawings were they? 
Well, uh, in school they were uh, more or less for the different affairs that went on, you know, the, the posters for the junior prom, etc. Uh, nothing any more than that. Well, this is all, you're just a, a self-effacing guy. I mean, people who have talent and can draw posters have talent. Everybody can't do that. The fact that you didn't become a Rembrandt is no reflection on you. Uh, in baseball, when you first started your career, when you were pointing for the major leagues, when you started the climb, was there any one player who was your idol? Mm, well, <laughs> uh, of course, the the one real idol that, that I had was... Um, was Jackie Robinson. He set a real uh, wonderful example for most of the young fellows coming along during his time. Uh, everyone had the uh, desire in the back of their mind to, to, uh, to follow in his footsteps, and, and I was no different. I, I respected him as a man and, and as a ball player as well. Uh, uh, which position did you play when you were in high school? I've always been a, an outfielder. I, in, in high school, I played left field, a little bit at third base, not very much, but um, basically I was always an outfielder. Uh, Kurt Flood, uh, during the past few years that you've been in the major leagues, was there any one pitcher who was particularly difficult for you? <laughs> well, uh, they're all difficult in the major leagues, or otherwise they wouldn't be here. But, yeah, uh, but that's a, cl a cliche for an answer <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> well, uh, Drysdale uh, gives me a great deal of trouble. I don't mind saying that because I don't feel like I'm alone. Uh, <laughs> um, Warren Spahn gives me a great deal of trouble. Uh, many, many others. <laughs> I hesitate to well, start Well, there can't be uh, many, many others for a fellow who hits 322 for the season. Uh, you probably were one of the first 10, but certainly that's a healthy batting average. Uh, is there anything more than, is there one thing more than anything else that you would like to accomplish in baseball, looking ahead, not only 1962, but looking as far ahead as you can? Well, the one thing that I would like to do this year, if, if possible, and since I've been in the major leagues, I've never had the chance to play in every ball game. Uh, I'd like to do that, even though there are 162 to be played, it would be a great Thing for me if I could play every ball game just for one season. Well, here's hoping 1962 you play in 162 ball games and again hit over 300. Kurt Flood, to you, all good wishes. This is Cliff Evans reporting.